So let's look at the different modes in a Cisco router or switch Cisco devices and how to set passwords for these different modes. So here we have a machine. Um, my terminal is now connected up to a router and I have router Portland. And right here, when I first connect up, you can see no passwords asked for. I can go into privilege mode and I can get there without any problems. So the first place you start is right your user mode. And then when you use the enable command, you get into privilege mode. And from here, you can use configure terminal to get into global configuration mode. All right. Now, what if I don't want people to be able to connect up to my router directly without using a password? You can see that I was able to get in here just by pressing enter. And then that put me in user mode. And from there, I could get from user mode to privilege mode by just typing in enable without a password. So now let's go ahead and set up some passwords. If I want to set a password to get into the router at the console level, I can set that down there. So I can go to align console zero, and then I can set a password. So I can do password, and let's say I want my password to be Portland. Nice, easy password that everyone should be able to guess because it matches my host name. And then I will use the login keyword to tell it to use that for login. All right. Now I can also go in and set up passwords for my Telnet connections as well. So VTY04 and password. Let's make it the same password. Portland and log in as well. Um, I can also set up password on the auxiliary port, but we'll leave that one off for now. Now I want to set a password for logging into my system. Um, well, I got the uh, console one, but for going from user mode to privilege mode, you can do the enable password. So it's either enable, oops, enable password, I do Portland, or um, I can also do enable password um, Portland 2. Except I want to do enable password, I'll do enable secret. Let's take a look at these two and see what shows up. So if I exit out of here and I go look at my running configuration, <clears throat> I can see that my secret password has been encrypted with a hash. Um, it looks like it's an MD5 sum. My enable password is plain text stored right here. So this is the Portland 2, and this is the Portland password. I scroll down through this, and I can see down here my console password is Portland, and my telnet password is also Portland. So now I go ahead and exit, and once I connect up, I press enter. It asks me for a password. So this is the console password. So I type in Portland. Now the question is, will I get Portland or Portland 2 as my password when I go from user mode to privilege mode? So I type in enable. And just for fun, I will try Portland. And it does not work. So I type Portland 2. And that gets me in. So you can see that if you have both the plain text enable password and the encrypted enable secret password, then the enable secret password will be the one that will be used. So that is basically how you set passwords on each level. Um, one thing you mind is if you do set passwords and you don't save your configurations and you reboot the router, they will be gone. So keep that in mind. And you can still do password recovery by booting up without loading the NVRAM. All right, so there we go.